is Lauren Beckley. My husband Nathan and I have been going to fellowship since January of 2009 and we've been at Fellowship White Rock since the beginning. I cannot truly say that I ever was solely reliant on God until this situation. But in this situation, there is no plan B. It was all God. When I got over the anger, I was able to see that God was faithful to His word. He protected the righteous, or my dad would no longer be with me. On May 18th, 2010, my family's world as we knew it was changed. Back home in Lubbock, my dad was out riding his bicycle that Tuesday afternoon out in the country enjoying the beautiful sunshine when a man came out from nowhere, ran over him from behind and left him for dead on the side of the road. I received a phone call from my mother, my mom and my brother that dad had been in an accident and all we knew was that he was being airlifted. We didn't know the extent of his injuries. I hung up the phone, called my husband and left work to go to the airport. On the way to the airport, I probably told my husband a thousand times to please call a small group and let them know to start praying. After an unknown amount of time, a farmer drove by and saw Dad laying there and pulled over to help. A moment later, a surgical nurse who was on her way to work pulled up on the accident and together they were able to get him help. And we saw God's provision right from the beginning that he sent along a surgical nurse to help keep him from bleeding out while he was waiting to receive medical help. When I first got the phone call about my dad, I was shocked. I didn't really know what to think. My dad's always just been such a rock in our family. Once I got to the hospital, I learned of all dad's injuries. He had seven broken ribs on his left side, three broken vertebrae, two breaks in his left shoulder blade, a collapsed left lung, road rash all over his body, and most severe of all, he had a paralyzed left arm due to severe nerve damage and trauma to the arm. Doctors repeatedly told us the whole hospital stay that it was truly a miracle that he was still alive. I believe this too was the hand of God that despite the severity of the injuries he did have, he had no brain damage, no spine damage, no heart damage, or any other organs. So six months or so after the accident, Dad was talking to his doctor about this was your arm, what would you do? And doctors suggested that he go to the Mayo Clinic and have them. There was a doctor up there that specializes in his specific injury. Doctors basically told him that his arm will never be the same again and there were a few surgeries that they could try. It was really just gonna be, a, I don't wanna say experimental, but it wasn't a guarantee fix to the problem. So. As a family and we all prayed about what we should do and dad decided he would go through with the nerve transplant surgery. Over the Christmas holiday dad just kept commenting that he felt his arm was different. He Something was going on, it felt different. He expressed this to the doctor and so they decided to do some pre-op tests on him for the surgery and sure enough all three of his major arm muscles were functioning. Originally they were at a zero when he was there in November and when we were back in January uh, from a zero to ten he was about at a two which seemed slight but this was huge and the doctors were shocked and they just didn't really have an explanation for it other than just that he, his body was doing the work on his own, which to us that meant God was healing. He is our healer, our restorer, our provider, and our peace that passes all understanding. He is the Alpha and Omega over all heaven and earth. Thank you for letting me share with you. I pray that you will be encouraged in your life, and if you have a situation that seems impossible, trust in God, and in His timing, you will see His provision. Also, I highly encourage getting involved in a community group so that you can surround yourself with, God's, with godly love and support. I am thankful that my husband and I have fellowship and its community to walk through life with us.